among the leafy green suburbs of Santon stands a home that has been built and designed with the utmost attention to detail. Across its nine bathrooms, five bedrooms and multitude of entertainment spaces, every single inch of it will leave your guests talking. It is currently on the market for 24,990,000 rand and we are about to explore this modern masterpiece. My name is Chad Riveros, this is the Private Property Home Shopper Show. Welcome home. Walking into the home, there are three features that immediately catch your eye. Starting off has to be this raw concrete bar area. And there's a couple of things I'd like to mention here that form utility. Beautiful exposed concrete bar top with some shiny, clean laminated white cabinetry. You've got under counter storage for all of your appliances as well as plumbing and pass through. So if you ever do want to put any electronics on the mid level bar top, you can do so. You've got under counter storage on both sides a chef sink and more exposed concrete that forms part of your display area for your favorite bottles. And then capping off both areas of the bar is this wood here that brings a bit of warmth but again sticks with the architectural style of the whole house. In the center you've got a gas fireplace recessed into more exposed concrete and you'll see a repeat of that warmth that comes from the wood. And then off to the second feature, which is this right here, your display garage. You've got an entryway as well as a garage door that is automated and you can display your favorite piece of machinery right here. I can see many of the viewers picturing a nice Porsche or Ferrari. Up in the center, just above this bulkhead ceiling with really nice cutouts or geometric cutouts, you've got this piece of furniture and this is the perfect time for me to mention. All of these pieces are designer pieces and you'll see how well they fit the house. Crossing the divider into the living areas, you'll see there's space for a pocket door if you do want to fit privacy shielding. But right now, this is the kitchen and there's so much to talk about here. First off, I generally mention center islands. As, as you can see, we've got a very clean one here, taking up the majority of the space in the kitchen. But it is multi-use because you can push and immediately not only have you got more space, you've got an island there for you to have breakfast with your family, but it reveals your countertop stove, induction stove with five top pieces, under counter storage, more storage behind me, but more hidden features. Over here, this is your fridge. And then behind these two glass cabinets, you've got your oven as well as your microwave, both of them smeg. Top of the line appliances for a house that is without a doubt cutting edge. On my left hand side, not only have we got glass windows letting in lots of natural light, making the kitchen feel open and airy, Behind me, you'll see this feature wall with more of that warm wood. It acts as a beautiful centerpiece, but also it hides away your chef's kitchen, this being the entertainer kitchen. Your chef's kitchen contains under counter storage for three appliances, a full sink, as well as a full gas stove, as well as another oven. That gas stove comes with five burners, it's very own extraction fan, and it is all smeg. You've got a walk-in pantry, as well as a walk-in cold room, access to the outside and plenty of storage for any other appliances you might need that you don't want messing up the feng shui of the main kitchen. Now leaving the food behind we talk about where you're going to be doing all of that fine dining and it is right here. This is a massive eight seater dining room table you can easily fit a 10 or even 12 but what I like is not only the continuation of the geometry in the ceiling with beautiful down lighting but take a look at the style of the lighting just above the dining room table it acts as a stunning centerpiece and leads seamlessly off into the living area. Now this living area as well as a large portion of this dining room area is dominated by this floating concrete pedestal. Not only acts as where you'd put your entertainment pieces but a beautiful beautiful talking point that contains its very own gas fireplace. A crackling fire, a good meal or a nice comforting cup of coffee to while your evenings away I think is the perfect way to spend any day in this home. Now right off of the living room area you've got sliding glass doors on both sides that lead onto your outdoor area and there's so much to talk about here with a couple of very cool unique features. Your patio is a huge open area that you can design however your heart sees fit. However it has all of the essentials. A stunning ceiling with all the downlighting you need 
pedestal lighting on the feature wall and then plug points as well as plumbing for you to fit your very own braai, fridge or anything else that your heart may desire. This outdoor area is multi-leveled. You've got this stunning pool framed with glass acting as your railing. And then we've got a couple of unique features that we have yet to see in any other house. And by unique, I don't mean these three skylights that look down onto your dancer's entertainment area that you can walk on. I'm talking about this, a four meter by four meter hammock that hangs above that entertainment area that you, your guests, or your children can lounge on and enjoy the sunset. It is a cool feature and definitely a talking point that many people are gonna be speaking about after any of your entertainment sessions. However, that doesn't even wrap up the downstairs area. So head back inside with me. Let's talk about what bedrooms are located down here. And then it's time to head downstairs into that entertainment area before we look at the bedrooms on the first floor. And now that we've wrapped up all of the living areas, it's time to head down this hallway and take a look at the bedroom, office, and bathroom. Walking into your first bedroom downstairs, on your right hand side you'll find plenty of cupboard space. It is a spacious bedroom, easily fitting in a king bed as well as pedestals on the left and right. You've got plenty of natural light coming through your sliding glass doors that lead out onto your patio as well as your garden area. This bedroom as well as every other bedroom in the house comes with its very own ensuite bathroom and a well equipped ensuite bathroom that is with a freestanding bathtub, walk-in shower, single vanity with mirror and under counter storage. Coming through a set of double doors, you find yourself in your very own office. With five meter high ceilings, it immediately imparts a sense of scale and grandeur. You've got a set of windows that run the length of the wall all the way up those five meters, which means plenty of light, one of the best equipped offices we've seen so far. Last but not least, we come to your guest bathroom. Perfectly placed so that none of your guests during any of your nights entertaining have to walk into the bedrooms. You'll find a single vanity as well as a toilet placed there between three frosted glass windows for privacy. This bathroom has one of the best designs faucets we've seen as well as a talking point of a basin. Coming downstairs off to your right, you'll find the guest bathroom that is for this area. Again, a stunning faucet, basin, walk-in shower this time and toilet off serves all your needs. And the reason I say that is because this downstairs area comes with its very own sauna. You've got space either for a gym area or a games room and then a beautifully lit area that perfectly fits the bill for a downstairs lounge. And then rounding off this area is your cinema, waiting for a couple of plush chairs, a pull down screen and a projector, which is gonna help you while away your evenings, snacking on popcorn with the family. You'll also find a outdoor area behind a set of glass stackable sliding doors. This whole area is astroturfed and you'll find yourself just underneath the hammock. A set of stairs takes you to your patio as well as your pool. Now, however, it's time to head back upstairs and take a look at the bedrooms. Coming up the stairs, there's a couple of cool features I wanna talk about. One, the stairs are all framed with glass from floor all the way up three levels of glass looking out over your parquet. The steps themselves, they're also pretty cool. The tiles are imported from Spain and the underneath of the steps has been hand polished. Definitely a talking point with guests. The whole upstairs area is also sealed off by the security gate that comes down from the ceiling and is hidden away from view when not in use. We've got one piece of bulkhead ceiling running the length of the hallway with down lighting and front and center is either your pajama lounge or what it is currently set up as and that is your office area. Your one wall is all windows looking down onto your patio, your pool, as well as the greenery of your garden. So it's not a bad way to sit and spend a couple of hours working if you don't want to visit the downstairs office. Then down this hallway is the first bedroom upstairs, a continuation of the office, or at least a good utilization of that space, as well as some storage space. Walking into the first bedroom upstairs, you'll see a mirror image of what we saw downstairs, except this time, instead of being able to walk out onto your patio, you've got a sliding glass door that opens up 
into a Juliet balcony. Your ensuite bathroom is again as well equipped with a walk-in shower, freestanding bathtub, toilet, and single vanity, frosted glass, letting a lot of natural light while still keeping with the privacy. The bedroom itself is again very spacious with bulkhead ceiling as well as central air conditioning. Leaving behind the first bedroom, on my left hand side you've got storage space and then behind me you've got the upper balcony of your office space. I mentioned five meter high ceilings and here you can sit down on this hanging chair with a, a glass framed balcony which is very fancy looking down onto the office as well as out through those glass walls since they do lead from floor all the way to ceiling. Now the second bedroom upstairs but the third bedroom overall is just here to my right. Walking into the third bedroom overall, you'll see a couple of very cool and unique features that is quite different from what we've seen so far. This time, instead of a Juliet balcony, we've got a windowsill bench framed by glass windows looking out onto your garden. A walk-in bathroom with a single vanity and walk-in shower this time dominates the area with plenty of space for a queen bed as well as two pedestals. This bedroom, much like the others, has very neatly done bulkhead lighting as well as shares the central air conditioning. I also like the warmth that comes from the wood floors that we've swapped out from the tiles we've seen earlier. Leaving behind that bedroom, we've got once again another pajama lounge, really well thought out and catering to three bedrooms here, one being the master suite, the other being the bedroom we've just left and the last being the bedroom we're about to go into. Also framed with a glass window looking out onto your patio, bulkhead lighting and servers with some air conditioning. It must be quite a comfortable way to spend an evening with the family. Now, however, let's look at the last bedroom before we head into the master suite. And here we are in the last bedroom before the master suite, bulkhead ceiling above me, beautiful wood flooring below me. This bedroom is easily my favorite with its very own balcony overlooking the carport as well as outdoor shower just through the ensuite bathroom. It's got a couple of features that I think a lot of people will be fighting after. Obviously spacious, definitely comes with plenty of storage. The ensuite bathroom has a walk-in shower, freestanding bathtub and single vanity and through a set of opening glass doors you find yourself in your outdoor shower with unobstructed views of the Santon skyline. The balcony as well is quite spacious and very private. A few things that I think every bedroom needs. Now however, it's time to take a look at the master suite, what we've all been waiting for, over 110 square meters, all for you and your special someone. And here we are, the master suite, and what better place to start than your walk-in closet. A wraparound closet shaped in a big C with mirrors placed strategically around so you can always make sure you're looking your best before heading out. It's got not one but two separate skylights letting in a lot of natural light which I believe is perfect for getting ready. It comes with its very own built-in vanity and shelves all the way around as you can see displaying your favorite outfits. Now walking straight through your walk-in closet you see there's a couple of cupboards placed all the way around. Those cupboards not only serve as storage but also it contains a laundry chute for you to drop your used items that land right down in the laundry area of the hidden section of the kitchen. Right now though you find yourself in the bathroom. This separates your walk-in closet from the lounge area of this bedroom as I did say over 110 square meters and then the bedroom just past the lounge. Now this bathroom comes with plenty of cool features. My favorite being the steam shower. You'll see a control panel around here where you get to set the temperature and then you'll walk in here and nothing makes you relax as much as a steam shower and if that doesn't get those knots out, the sauna downstairs definitely will. Double vanity, under counter storage, mirrors all the way around, a heated towel rack as well as toilet hidden behind a door for privacy, three separate slit windows, the bottom one being frosted also for privacy, and up this step you find your freestanding bathtub lit from above by three different chandelier style lights. It has to be a special place for a room this incredible. And right now we walk into your very own living room area in your master suite. Because this house is so large, remember 110 square meters, you've got space to put your very own living area with a 
divider wall for you to place your TV, you can sit back on this stunning furniture and relax in the privacy of your bedroom. Windows on either side of the wall, as well as high level windows letting in natural light, lets you either look out onto your garden or onto this beautiful foliage on the left hand side. But we can't forget that we need to speak about the bedroom when it comes to a master bedroom and here it is a built-in headboard with LED lighting and space for you to fit a bed of your choice. As you can see, the homeowners no longer live here, which is why a lot of the furniture is missing. But don't let that subtract away from the incredible beauty that this master suite holds. Lighting all the way around and your very own balconies, but a few of the features you get in this home and I have to admit, a master bedroom this size definitely suits its name. But that doesn't wrap up the whole house as we have one more level above us to take a look at and trust me, it's definitely gonna take your breath away. Unfortunately, that concludes the incredible tour of this Santon home. But before we wrap up, let's talk about what we've seen so far. From the bottom level, you see wide open entertainment and family spaces that each have their very own architectural look and feel. From imported tiles from Spain to smart home systems that are based on Bang & Olufsen, every single thing you might want from a home in the 20th century, this house has. Leading upstairs, you find warm family rooms, bedrooms, as well as outdoor showers and a master bedroom that absolutely takes your breath away. So if you'd like to be the next owner of this incredible Santa home, what I'd like you to do is contact Shay Kutza from Live Realty. All of her details are in the link below and schedule a viewing as soon as possible. Then don't forget to like, share and subscribe to us on Facebook, Instagram as well as YouTube so you never miss us touring some of South Africa's most spectacular homes. But from myself, Chad Riveros and the team at the Private Property Home Shopper Show, Thank you so much. We'll see you next time and goodbye.